Let's go over the quiz review for chapter 5.4, 5.5. Uh, this, um, this quiz will cover uh, derivatives of exponential function, base e to the x, and uh, bases other than e, uh, such as a to the x. So we'll start off with number 1, f of x equals natural log of 3 plus 4x to the fifth, all over um, uh, fourth root of 1 minus 3x. Uh, this is log base e, but first, uh, as with any log expressions, if we can expand um, using product uh, quotient or power property, then um, things will be a lot easier um, for us when we're ready to find the derivative. So first thing, we see uh, this is ln of numerator over denominator. We can think of this as ln of a over b. So we can expand this, natural log of 3 plus 4x to the 5th minus natural log of 1 minus 3x to the 1 4th, and then uh, continue expanding by bringing uh, the exponents down, bring down the 5, bring down the 1 4th. So now um, we're left with something that's a lot easier uh, to find the derivative for uh, than trying to apply the derivative where we have to use chain rule and uh, quotient and it would be a lot messier. So uh, the, r the rule that we need for uh, natural log of u is u prime over u. So coefficient of 5 stays. The derivative for 3 plus 4x is 4 all over 3 plus 4x minus coefficient 1 fourth stays. u prime over u. So the derivative for my u 1 minus 3x is negative 3 all over 1 minus 3x. Simplify, we get 20 over 3 plus 4x minus, or the two negatives cancel out, plus 3 over 4 times 1 minus 3x. All right, number two, uh, we can expand. Um, this is log base 3, but again, the log expression, I can bring this 3 down in front. And once I bring the 3 down in front, then I'm going to expand uh, log of a minus log of b. Distribute the 3 through, the three coefficient of 3 through. Uh, so now, when I'm at this point, um, we can apply the rule for log base a. And the, log, uh, the rule for log base a is very similar to natural log of u. There's still that u prime over u component, but we have to account for the fact that this is not um, base e. So we do change of um, we do change of base, and what happens with change of base? Um, we have a natural log of three uh, that needs to be um, included in our derivative rule for log base a. So 3 is the coefficient that stays. Log base 3, we have this 1 over natural log of 3 um, that's, uh, that's needed. And then we apply the rule that we would for natural log of u, which is u prime over u. So 3x to the fifth becomes 15x to the fourth, all over 3x to the fifth, minus coefficient of 3. Account for the fact that this is not log base e, but log base 3. So uh, we convert it to natural log of 3, or that's part of our um, coefficient for our derivative, and then u prime over u. So 16x to the third, um, all over 2x to the fourth minus 3. Okay, so as a, just to, as a reminder, the derivative for log base a of u is 1 over natural log of a times u prime over u. Okay. All right, let's look at, uh, uh, well, actually, we can simplify a little bit further here. Uh, 15 over 3 becomes 5. The x's cancel out with the x in the denominator. And um, we don't have to find a common denominator. We can just leave it as, um, um, as separate terms for our derivative. For number 3, we have uh, 2. Uh, terms, we have x and we have e to the 2 minus x squared, so uh, if we want to find the derivative that involves um, uh, two terms that are being multiplied together, we have to go through the product rule. So f prime g plus f times g prime, so the g prime is simply e to the u times u prime. From here, we found the derivative, we've applied product rule, uh, so we can clean this up a little bit more by factoring out the e to the 2 minus x squared, and inside um, we have 1 minus 2x squared as the remaining terms after we factor out the e to the 2 minus x squared. All right, number 4. Similar to number 1, we can expand our log expression. Um, but just keep in mind, this is log base 5. 
which means eventually when we find the derivative, we have to apply the rule for uh, log base a of u. So first step, log of a over b is equal to log of a minus log of b. Expand further with the second expression, bring down the 1 half. Uh, so now it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier for us to find the derivative after we've um, separated them into smaller portions. So the derivative for log of a to the log base a of u is simply 1 over ln of a, and the 5 is the base a, times u prime over u. So 1 over ln of a, the ln of 5, times the derivative for 3 minus x, so u prime. The derivative for 3 minus x is negative 1, all over 3 minus x, minus, keep the coefficient, 1 half, 1 over natural log of 5, and then negative 1 over 1 minus x. Okay, clean this up a little bit more. We have negative 1 over ln of 5 times 3 minus x plus 1 over 2 ln of 5 times 1 minus x. All right, number 5, we have um, f of x equals 8 to the x minus 3x squared times log of 3 minus 2x quantity cubed. Uh, we have a special rule for um, base a, a to the u. So, um, our rule for a to the u is very much the, uh, um, very much similar to e to the u, but we have to account for the fact that this is not base e. So we have natural log of a times, and then the rest um, resembles a lot like e to the u's rule, which is the original function times the derivative of the exponent, um, the derivative of the exponent. Okay, so this is the rule that we'll follow for 8 to the x minus 3x squared. Notice again, these are two separate terms. They're being multiplied together. We have to go through product rule. So, um, and I'm going to rewrite this second uh, expression, uh, bring down, bringing down the 3, um, rewriting that as log base 10 to make it a little bit um, more apparent what that base is. Uh, if you don't see a base, it's a common log with base 10. So we go through product rule now. f prime g, so the derivative for... 8 to the x minus 3x squared is simply ln of 8, right, which is following this rule here, ln of 8 times 8 to the x minus 3x squared times the derivative of the exponent. x minus 3x squared becomes 1 minus 6x. So all this represents f prime times g plus the original f function times g prime. So the derivative for 3 log base 10 to 3 minus x, 3 minus 2x, 3 is a coefficient, so that stays. Log base 10 of 3 minus 2x becomes 1 over ln of 10 times u prime over u, so negative 2 over 3 minus 2x. And this is a bit messy, but I think the, the most that we can do here is just factor out the 8 to the x minus 3x squared, and then just leave the remaining terms inside the bracket.